I'm Debbie Saslow, and I'm the director of breast and gynecologic cancer at the American Cancer Society. The American Cancer Society's new guideline for cervical cancer screening recommends that women start screening at age 21. Women who are younger than 21 should not be screened at all. Screening should start with the pap test every three years starting at age 21 um, until age 29. The new guidelines recommend co-testing, which is the combination of the pap test and the HPV test, as the preferred screening strategy for women ages 30 to 65. And we recommend that the combination of these two tests, called co-testing, be done every five years if both tests are, are negative or normal. The pap test tells a woman, do you have any abnormal cervical cells today on the day of your pap test? The HPV test is done in the exact same way, except that it's looking for the virus that causes virtually all cervical cancer. So the new guideline says that after age 65, women should no longer be screened as long as they've been adequately screened. For example, if they've received three normal pap tests or two negative HPV tests in the last 10 years before they discontinue screening. A lot of people don't realize that screening too frequently can be more harmful than beneficial. And so in the case of cervical cancer, a lot of women think annual screening is the way to go, but we now know that that causes more harm than good. And the main reason is because it leads to a lot of extra invasive procedures without increasing the number of cancers detected.